Watching all these sawmill videos, I've been picking up on a lot of little tips and tricks and hacks on how to make things easier. So I thought I'd make a video today and show about four of my favorite tricks that I'm using right now. And I'll probably make a video later with some more, including one that I actually came up with all by myself. I'm actually a very good copier, but I'm not good at coming up with new ideas. So if you stick around to the end, you'll see a real simple little hack that I come up with, but probably a lot of you guys have been doing already and just don't have a YouTube channel to show it. Okay, this hack that I saw on YouTube, the guy was using steel pipe, but my buddy Nate Bissell from uh, Bissell Maple Farm um, suggested or said that someone told him about using PVC pipe. So then you gotta reach behind it, pull your log stops up, and then turn your log and then let them back down. But instead of doing that, you can just have a couple pieces of pipe, drop it over top, and there you go. And PVC should work fine unless you're using monster logs, but uh, if you're doing that, you can get some pieces of steel pipe. It's just two inch pipe that fits over there perfectly. Like there's a little bit of wobble, but. Now this next one, um, I got off of sawing with Sandy's channel, and I'm sure there's other people doing this, but if you're tired of hitting log stops or mowing down log stops, as Sandy would say, um, I've made these marks so that whichever mark I'm on, that's how far uh, up I'm sitting, except for the one inch mark is actually three quarter inches up. And then the two inch mark is inch and three quarter and so on. It's two and three quarter, three and three quarter. Instead of actually four inches, it's three and three quarter. Then I've got corresponding marks up here. So I've got marks here, like this is five inches and I line it up right with the bottom there. Just like that. So that's five inches. Well, I got the one down there set on four inches. So let's move this one down to four inches. The one down here is actually lower than four inches, but you'll see I got both of them on four inches and I got plenty of room. I'll skim right over that. It's like a half of an inch there. So that says four and this says four. I know I'm good. Cause honestly, out of the last eight blades that I have that need to be sharpened, Probably three of them are from hitting log stops. So I'm trying to put an end to that. And in case you're wondering, if you have a Woodland Mills, why I'm not using that little bracket that sticks out and goes in front of your blade that will hit the log stops. It's because that little bracket often gets in the way and it wants to hit little knobs and bark and all that stuff. So then you flip it up and then you can still forget to put it back down. But without it flipping, I guess it loosened something and it fell out. and and then I lost a set screw and I set that little bracket somewhere and I lost that bracket. So I'm just gonna try to get better at paying attention and not sawing into my log stops. And this next hack I see in quite a few uh, YouTube channels, so I'm not gonna name a specific one. Um, but most of them have some kind of a hook or something to hang your bucket on. So what I discovered is, at least on the HM126, I'm not sure how it'll work on the sawmill brand or model that you have, but on my sawmill, it works great just to Slide your plastic handle off, put a little bend, put a little bend in it, and it hangs right on your, on my uh, hinge bolt. And then you can get, I cut, and then I cut the bottom out of a bucket and cut a good chunk of it out just so it tightens my bucket. Slide it right in there because my sawmill that blows the sawdust like straight out, right against this wall here. So it needs a backstop to hit against. Now your sawmill may go straight down, depends how it's built, but that's how this one works. I've not tried this yet. This is one, I just made this today. But I'm right here by my barn and I got pigs over in here. And in the winter there's cows in there that I feed and I've got, and I put bedding in there. And so it wouldn't hurt just to be dumping all my sawdust in there. Good way to get rid of my sawdust and uh, turn it into good compost, which is what I use all this for anyway. So let's just see how it works. I don't want to saw a log up right now, but I got this little uh, um, six by six here. I'm just going to skim off like a quarter inch layer off the top of it just to make some sawdust and see how this uh, setup works. I'll throw this hack in for free. If you've got something that won't fit between your, uh, that won't hit both of your log stops, you can just get another piece of wood that will and clamp it against that. Now I can only I can use a little piece like this because I'm really close to my log stops on both ends.
Well, there's a little bit of blow over, but all in all, I think it works pretty good. The majority of it's going in the bucket. I don't care there's this light dusting coming out. It'll keep the weeds down anyway until I get a lean-to built. You can see the a lot of sawdust just piling up here. When the rain comes down, it just kind of washes it out and makes me a nice level spot. So it's not hurting anything at the moment. Now this next hack is what I come up with by myself. I used to have trouble with uh, tripping over my can hook and stuff because I'd use it and just, you know, just throw them down anywhere. And, and then I'd carry it back with me sometimes to the head and drop it back there. Then I needed it back over here and then walk over there and get it. And so the simple solution was just screwed on the pieces of pieces of pipe, three of them. Put one here right across there because sometimes you need a cant hook on the back side and then you got one there already and if i'm doing a long log i'll put a pipe up here in the end so my uh, cant hook stays out of the way so uh, that's my simple little hack that i come up with but another free hack i'll throw in is this cant hook it's actually it wasn't a cant hook it's a log turner i think yeah it went in just like that you go in a you pick up your uh, like smallish logs. You can't do like really big logs. And you, you hook them just like a can hook and roll them over. And then it picks it up off the ground and you can cut it into firewood. Well, it was only $45. I got it for a secondary one. My log right here was $145. But I find I end up using this one as my primary. And it's just a really good uh, can hook. And I don't find that this little bracket gets in the way, but if it does, you could cut it off no problem. And this handle is super solid. Like, I've been hanging on it already, turning big logs. And uh, it just, it hooks better than the log right. Now, this won't be a family heirloom like the log right will, but for $45 versus uh, $145, um, you can't beat this thing. I doubt this one's $45 anymore since prices of everything are going up, but I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find it. And, Go look at it for yourself. If you found any of these hacks useful, let me know down in the comments. And if you've got any cool hacks and tricks yourself, I'd love to hear about those too and leave those in the comments. And I might even put them in a video in the future. Thanks for watching.